So this is cute. The hosts on Fox News uh, threw a little temper tantrum and flipped out because Joe Biden is selling dark Brandon merch. Uh, now, the reason why they're flipping out is because this was like the one instance where Biden, like any time he would do something good, these memes would fly all over the place on social media. It's like, oh, look, Biden morphed into dark Brandon because he's like you know, uh, reducing student loan debt or pulling out of Afghanistan and, and telling the media to go piss off as he does it. Like, it's actually something that showed some genuine organic support for the president at one time or another. And so that's why they're like, this, this, this isn't good. Don't sell the merch. This is bad, bro. So this is a hilarious clip. Let's watch. It's so funny, they're trying to present, you see the weakness here with even his biggest supporters in the mainstream media freaking out, but this mug is like about trying to present him as tough and badass when we know he probably wears diapers and he falls off of his bike. So it's- But look, that cuts both ways. So when Trump acts like, well, he's orchestrating this uh, gigantic move to persecute me and he's trying to get me locked up and get rid of his political opponents and he's a Machiavellian genius, ah! That also can't be the case if he's wearing diapers and he's going to bed at 4 o'clock in the afternoon and he's weak, right? No, see? They'll go back and forth between those things. They'll go back and forth. Oh, he's weak, he's ineffectual, he gets nothing done, he doesn't even know where he is. But actually, he knows exactly where he is and exactly what he's doing and he's persecuting Trump and he's really evil. And it's a problem. And you saw in that, that, the statement that you read to Emily, it said, we need to figure out what this is. Well, what do you think it is? I mean, obviously, this is a man who is, you know, his economy is in trouble. He is censoring all of his, um, you know, anyone who, who contradicts him in his narrative online. He's imprisoning, trying to imprison his own opponent. Um, She's doing the thing literally immediately after she said he's weak, he's wearing diapers, he's useless, he doesn't do anything. Now it's like, actually, he does everything, and he's to blame for all these things, and he's way too powerful and way too corrupt and way too authoritarian and strong-handing, and again, which is it? She's going after the left for being hypocritical, but she demonstrates the exact same hypocrisy, except even worse. Who is going to step up? Will it be Gavin Newsom, or will we get a surprise in Michelle yeah, Obama? Yeah, well, we know he will. I can't with this Michelle Obama point. For the love of God, she said 87 times she's not running, but the right keeps trying to will it into existence. It's not happening. It's not, stop it. She's never said, she mentioned like a couple times, I'm never going to do it. She hasn't said anything for like a year, and they're still like, maybe Michelle Obama. The, the way that political narratives override objective reality is astonishing to me. Some sociologist needs to do a study on this because it is, it's a real thing, man. This like weird, like these mental tics, these like, these ideas that just sort of take over that have no grounding whatsoever. Julie, you mentioned the bike, Rachel. Yeah. This week for a, a campaign that has huge warning signs, cracks. If you look at the numbers among the base, you look at the numbers with black voters, with young voters, with Hispanic voters, there are visible warning signs. There definitely are visible warning signs, but now do Trump. See, I'm not a hack, so I can come out here and say, oh my God, it's crazy that Biden and Trump are basically tied in the general election polls. It's Joe Biden has plummeted with young voters. The polling among young voters has fallen off a cliff. It was like 60% when he first did the student loan debt reduction, and it's just imploded. There was one point where it was 30%. I don't know if it's still there, but it was around there. I can say that because I'm not a hack. I can go after Biden and Trump. You, on the other hand, will only go after one, and we know why. What is he doing? He's on a beach. He's on a bike. He's on a 10-day vacation in Delaware. This is what he's doing. If I'm a Democrat Party member, I'm saying, let's bring in Gavin Newsom because this guy doesn't seem to care. If I'm a Democratic Party member, I'm embarrassed because he's actually doing his Democratic Party a disservice. Dark branded is not funny. I mean, that's actually a really dark joke at oh, the expense yes. of the American public. Like, I don't think it's funny. And Brandon is not a compliment. So to, that's all he's got to go on is to take the, the worst insult that he's adopted through his presidency and make something of it. And while the red beaming eyes, Emily, I do agree, would be very <laughs> cool, um, I also think it's really uncool the fact that, you know, all of this news about Hunter Biden this week and, and Joe Biden was buried by the mainstream media because of the indictments mm. when, you know what, our main focus should be our president and the dark days of summer. That's what his mug mm. should say. When Hillary called Trump people deplorable, they started wearing like deplorable shirts, right? This is this is politics 101. It's like you adopt the thing as like a badge of honor. Tyrion Lannister said it in Game of Thrones. Like wear your, you know, whatever flaw is a badge of honor so you know, everybody knows you're not ashamed of it and then it can't be used as a weapon against you. 
And the whole Dark Brandon thing, yeah, I mean, that's sort of how it was birthed, right? It's like everybody viewed him as sort of weak and ineffectual and gets nothing done. And it's like, well, what if we lived in an alternate reality where he was the opposite of that? And then every now and then, in very rare moments, he would come through as like doing some Dark Brandon type shit. Pulling out of Afghanistan. Berating the media when they were effectively trying to shame him into going back into Afghanistan. <coughs> Excuse me. That's, that was a Dark Brandon moment. Reducing the student loan debt. That was a dark branded moment. So, like, going after, like, Marjorie Taylor Greene or something in a speech, which is a low bar, but, hey, at least something, right? That was a dark branded moment. But, yeah, most of the time, you get the weak, ineffectual old man who doesn't know where he is. Every now and then, you get some sprinkles of dark branded. But that's why they're flipping out, because the only positive moments are, like, actually, there were no positive moments, and dark branded isn't funny, and it's actually a really dark, bad joke, and actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna comedy shame you, and I don't like this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Being a Fox News commentator is like the easiest job in the world and the least intellectually stimulating thing in the world. Because you know exactly what you have to say and what you have to do. Like, just go out there, rah-rah Republicans, rah-rah Trump. Oh my God, Democrats are the worst. They're so evil. They're so bad. They're so terrible. Let's mention that same point 57 different ways until finally we get to clock out. That's what they're doing here. But you got to be a little more nuanced. You got to be a little more reasonable about it. You got to finesse the, po the point more, massage the point more. Because... When you don't, to every normie out there, it just comes across as weird. Like, really? Really? You're attacking Biden's campaign because they sell dark branded merch? Of course, they, they should. the only merch they should sell is dark branded merch, you absolute freaks. This stuff is basic. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.